What's up tech fans? I know many of the gamers out there are console gamers and many of you out there have Xboxes. Now this particular controller we're going to look at today, it's the Turtle Beach Recon. It'll work with any version of Xbox out there, the Xbox One, the X, the S, it'll work with all of them. It's a wired controller, comes to market at about $59 and is just filled with features. I mean, it's seriously filled with features. And some of these cool features have to do with a lot of the different controls that you have inside of the gaming arena. So let's jump in. Let's take a look at the recon and see at the end of the day whether it's worth your $59 for this little wired controller. Did you just build yourself a brand new PC? Or did you just upgrade your old PC, but find you're in need of a Windows 10 key? If that's the case, your CD key has you covered. And buying, it's never been easier. All you do is go to the Your CD Key website, find the Windows software that you want to buy, put it into your cart, enter the code TOT20, apply the code, save yourself some extra money, and as soon as you complete your purchase, the Windows 10 key will be in your inbox. There's no problems, it's really easy, and all keys are guaranteed to work, so you don't have to worry about losing your money, and you'll have a valid Windows 10 key to get your unit up and running. All right, so before we jump into the video, I would ask a kindness of you people out there, could you please like and share my video on social media? And if you like my style, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you know I'm making videos. So with that said, let's check out the little recon that's right, the Recon, not Ghost Recon, just Recon from Turtle Beach. Now, inside of the box, it's a pretty simple package. You get the controller, you get the cable, you get the instructions, and you get a cool little sticker if you want to stick it on your Xbox. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is you're going to want to plug this into either your Xbox or your Windows 10 PC. That's right, not only will this controller work with your Xbox, it will also work on your PC, on Windows 10 PCs that is. It doesn't work with older editions probably because of some of the mapping and saving features. So okay, that's what comes in the box. Now we have the controller itself. Now this controller features a new type of rumble feedback. It's in the handles and it's also in the joysticks as well. So when you're playing a game or you're hearing engine revving inside of a racing game, it rumbles in your hand pretty well. Now, like I said earlier, the biggest thing about this particular controller is the different features. It has a pro aim feature, which allows you to use the toggle bar up here. You can change the sensitivity. This is for making those headshots. Now, I'm gonna admit to you guys, for me, when it comes to first person shooters, I just cannot play with the joystick. I am a mouse and keyboard type of guy, but I know there's many people out there who have you know used this type of controller for playing those games forever. And not only will this controller work on your Xbox, it will also work on your PC. Now it has to be a Windows 10 PC, obviously because of these things. Now, you also get superhuman hearing. That's right, superhuman hearing. And what this allows you to do is once you plug the headphones into this little 3.5 millimeter jack down here, it will allow you to hear things like soft footsteps and stuff coming up behind you. Also, there's a lot of different features in here as far as the audio goes. Once you plug a headset into it, you can actually change things like the volume, which you can see is on the left-hand side right here, and you can also toggle chat mode and mute chat also that's on the right-hand side. So on the left-hand side, you have volume control, and on the right-hand side, you have the chat mute button. Now, in the Windows 10 PC environment, um, the mute button doesn't quite work the same. I couldn't get it to work, so I don't know if that's just something I was doing wrong, I'll be honest with you, but it wasn't working for me. It works fine if you have it plugged in and using your Xbox, but that's just, you know, that's just me. Like I said, I'm not the type of person who can go in and play a first person shooter, but for racing games and for fighting games and things like that, this controller fits really nice in my hand. It really does. And it's really cool because all of the different features are located up here on top. Now, another thing that's very important is this right here. 
The instruction guide that comes with this is very important because it tells you how to do all of the different things. And all the other controllers are pretty much essentially the same as your standard Xbox controller. You know, I have an Xbox S and here's a comparison shot and you can see it looks pretty much exactly like my, 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 my controller. And it's a little bit bulkier and bigger than the original Xbox controller, which I have a shot in here. But beyond that, it's pretty much the same. You know, you've got your toggle here, your toggle up here. You've got your little, little joystick right here. Up here, you have the same buttons. Now, something that's interesting about this controller is, is that you can actually have up to four user presets that are located and changed on the back. And there's four different ones and you can store four different presets in each one. So that's a lot of different presets. You can also do button mapping and map all of these different buttons to do things that you want to do. So it doesn't matter if you're playing a fighting game, a racing game, a football game, it doesn't matter. Once you figure out how to do everything by reading this little manual right here, it actually comes pretty easy. But I will say that when you first get the controller, it's not the easiest thing in the world to learn how to do. You also have an EQ button. You guys can see this is lit up right here. What this allows you to do is this allows you to change the volume and stuff inside of the game. Like I said though, you do have to have headphones plugged in. If you're just playing this and you've got it plugged into your Xbox in your living room and you're listening to it through your TV speakers, those particular functions were not operating. But as soon as I plugged headphones into it, then you could start messing with those other features. Now, even though this is a wired controller, it has a long, long cable. I actually, my, my TV is like eight feet in front of me and I was basically sitting on my couch very relaxed playing with it and I had no problems whatsoever. It wasn't becoming too short and if I jerked up on something like you do when you're playing racing, you go, ah, oh, crap, you know what I mean? It wasn't unplugging from the Xbox or anything like that whatsoever. So this is an interesting product. Now, being that it's $59, it's really not much more than a standard Xbox controller. It's really not, and at the end of the day, what the Recon is, is pretty much an Xbox controller that just has lots of different features. And if you're a person out there who you really get into playing first person shooters and you like using a controller like this, you will be right at home programming those buttons and doing things like that. I mean, I used it to play Forza. I had a great time playing Forza. I played a little FIFA. I just played some generalized games and I found the controller to be totally comfortable. It's got non-sweat rubber grips here too. So even when you're holding onto it, it doesn't get hot in your hand. It still kind of plays, you know, kind of cool in your hand. But it's a unique, it's a unique product. Like I said, everything really, as far as control goes, is centrally located right up here on the controller. That's where it is. You have a simple plug on top. You plug one end of the cable into this. You plug one end into your Xbox or your Windows 10 PC. After that, you've got the standard controls just right off the bat. And if you wanna go in and do all the programming and do all that different stuff for all the different features, then all you have to do really is make sure that you go through, once again, I'm gonna reiterate this, you need to go through the manual. This manual is the users and quick start manual and it will get you up and going on everything. If I was to sit here and try to show you guys every single solitary thing on here, we'd be here all day long. And I just don't think people really are, you know, I mean, how do I really show you guys what the superhuman hearing is? I can't show you that. You know what I mean? I just can't. And, and, and to be honest with you, for first person shooters, um, I tried it on my PC and I'll admit to you, I suck. I'm just not used to playing a first person shooter with a controller. My son is, if you gave this to my son Aaron, he'd be like, oh yeah, all day long, man, no problem. Boom, 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 headshot after headshot. And I'd just be getting my old butt kicked across the floor because I just cannot do it whatsoever. Now, another thing is, is I really prefer this bottom toggle for doing race games. I'm not a really big fan of this. So you have to change the way that the, that the, that the controller works to be able to use this one instead of this one. This one is really, I feel, more for like doing the headshots and stuff like that for first person shooter games. I'm gonna get this over here so you guys can see this, this little top one right here. But this bottom one right here, this is what I feel is best for doing racing games and stuff like that. Plus for like games like football or FIFA or anything like that, I like something that I can just click up and down. I mean, 
well, let's just face it. I mean, this little toggle wheel is, is great when you're spinning around a room and trying to do stuff like spin around and shoot people. But if you're just playing on football field and you're going through little squares and doing stuff like that, it's much easier, I feel, just to use the bottom toggle. Just for me, it just is. Other people's opinions may vary. That just depends on their gaming style. But for 59 bucks, if you want a controller that works well, I'm not going to say that programming it is the easiest thing in the world. It's not because you have to sit there and go and actually read all the directions. You've got to toggle through everything. And one thing that's also interesting is like when I was playing Forza, this particular controller, if you just leave it in standard mode, this will actually switch through all your radio stations. So this little bottom controller right here, it'll switch through all of your different radio stations. If you hit the center button, it takes you up to the menu. On your PC, it brings up the, the game bar. It does different things depending on the environment that you're gaming. But for me, like I like a controller that I can use on my Windows 10 PC and use on my Xbox. I own one of each and you know, since nowadays people can pretty much play on cross platforms against everything, I think it's a pretty cool product. For 60 bucks, I mean, I don't really feel there's any great caveat other than the fact that the learning curve on learning how to do everything does take a few minutes. It's just not like hop in and go, okay, let's hit this button, this hit this button. You have to go in, read the directions, do what it says, program it, get your profiles in there. And this little center button, which I have some screenshots of as well when it lights up, you can actually change between the different things and it spins around in a cycle depending on the intensity of what you're doing. So there you have it, folks. The Recon from Turtle Beach, lots of cool features. You can actually plug your headphones into it. So if you're in a dorm or you, you know, you're somewhere where you don't want people to hear your speakers, you don't have to worry about having your headphones plugged in somewhere separate. Now, obviously, if you have USB headphones, that's going to be a different story. But if you just have regular headphones that has a 3.5 millimeter jack, you can have your controller in your hand, your headphones plugged in and on your head, and it just makes it a lot easier overall. So like usual, I'll have a link down below. So if you guys wanna check out some other people's reviews about this product or just go check out one out on, on Amazon and buy one, I'll have the links down on there. So I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. This has been pretty much what I would call a, I mean, I don't really know how much of a grand review you can give on a controller because it just controls your games. But at the end of the day, it's feature filled, it's 59 bucks, it's not that expensive, works on your Windows 10, works on your Xbox, not a lot to it. So we'll see you guys back on the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, all the games codes, all the game codes from your CD key are completely guaranteed to activate for life. If you wanna support the channel and you don't have a single dollar to your name, I have a link down below to Patreon. Actually, that cost $1, sorry. If you want to support the channel with no money whatsoever, I have a link down below where you can try Amazon Prime for 30 days for free. So peace out. We'll see you guys back on the channel for more tech.